So welcome back guys, it's Queen G Star. Obviously last video was a little bit more serious and before we get into it, I'm here with the one and only. It's not like he told me to make this intro for him. <laughs> yeah. I will turn up guys. Yeah, so obviously we're here. Last video was way, way too, too serious. I felt like I was stiff. I couldn't really speak. I felt a bit shy. Probably because we're going to get so much I mean, evil eye rhyming. Um, okay, but, but it, it was a good video because I feel like it had to be addressed, do you know what I mean? It was a serious topic, do you understand? Yeah, it's yeah. a serious topic. People obviously not going to get too happy because we baited out how much they're charging and that sort of stuff and what to do and what not to do. Mm -hmm. Tuition centres after Torab's neck. No, no, <laughs> uh, after Torab's neck because you said like two of yourself, innit? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Today's video is going to be a follow-on so you can check the link description to watch that video first. In the description below, yeah. hopefully. Um, and then watch this video. Do what you want to they do subscribe and like this video 15 million thousand times first we're going to get off with why money is important so one of the first things that we're going to kick off with is one thing you don't understand is that travel costs a lot now if you're living outside london you're commuting to london every single day it's a ridiculous cost that, that's crazy but let's let's just talk about in london how expensive okay, it is yeah. first of all you don't have a free oyster card anymore uh, as soon as you so yeah, yeah, that little yeah, green yeah. oyster card is gonna change yeah, to blue, bro. Yeah, so yeah. you're gonna have to be paying on the bus, it's gonna be like 150 or something like that, mm -hmm. and then train's gonna be depending where you go, it's gonna be more expensive. Yeah. So if you're going uni four to five times a week or whatever, even three times a week, you're gonna be paying lots of money. And at the end of the month, you might you might even add up to a hundred. You know what I mean? It usually does. Like yeah. the zone one to one to three or one to two yeah, yeah. is like uh, I believe monthly. If you are to book the monthly ticket, it's gonna be like eighty seven pounds to like a hundred and five pounds. And at the end of the year, that's a thousand pound gone. But if you're choosing to pay pay as you go, it's a little bit shambolic. So one thing I it do depends on your needs basically. It gets worse and worse the greater the zones you live in. So if you live zone six and you're trying to get to zone one, mm -hmm. your pockets are going to be finished. Yeah. There's no two ways about that. So that's one thing to understand on choosing the university choices or choosing mm -hmm. your apprenticeship choices. It's not like uh, GCC anymore or A levels. It's not like sixth form. People actually travel very far for uni. Not just going outside of London. Yeah, if you yeah. go outside of London, that if you go outside of where you live and you live by yourself, yeah. that's a completely it's, different story, exactly, bro. Yeah. That is so much money. You have to get a job. We'll talk about that later, mm -hmm. but now we want to talk about just traveling in general will take you so much money. Exactly. And if you're doing uni yeah. three years or getting a master's, or if you're doing med here, six, six yeah, years, six bro, years. who's going to be paying for yeah, that? Exactly, you know what I mean? Exactly. Now, now the standard uh, response would be, I'm going to go get the maintenance loan. Now That's I, the last thing you're going to do for travel costs. Yeah, and even on top of that, I've mentioned prior before, and I'll probably put in a small clip it. Yeah, potential of you working if you're able to. Um, I get maintenance loan. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I'm saying, like people who are taking maintenance loan, one of the reasons why you take the loan is because you don't want to be worrying about money as much while you're in uni. 100%. Uh, I wouldn't advise the maintenance loan. And as with any loan, I wouldn't advise that. Um, <laughs> The opinion that we take is that it's not a necessity and you don't need to take it. So when you're taking mm -hmm. it, you're using borrowed money. So it's not necessarily your money. And that's where that bad spending habit will kick in. Mm -hmm. Like, I've got so much money. Because mm -hmm. you haven't you haven't worked for the money, so you don't know the value of it. And on top of that, that's extra loan that you have to pay off later. Exactly, or exactly. It's just pushing you back in life, exactly, do you know what exactly, I mean? Exactly. And I feel like sometimes, not all the case, guys, because some people do might use their maintenance loan because they need it for family or yeah. something. A lot of the times, people just will buy an extra expensive clothes or buy an extra expensive food with the money that they borrowed. Exactly, do you get it? Yeah, if you do exactly. with your money, it's, it's different. Yeah. Now, which is why I find it weird, and I feel like, it makes you lazy sometimes and you makes you be less productive because you feel like oh all i'm gonna do is uni i'm just gonna chill with the man there i'm gonna chill with the man there i'm gonna chill with the man there i'm gonna chill with the man there mm. go party yeah. no work no yeah. other stuff and it just puts you back and as i said this is not what we do on this channel or my channel we're about productivity and we want people to get yeah. you know to really feel good because it gives value and meaning to your life actually do you get it yeah. there's other things to consider as well um some people don't usually speak about scholarships that are available for medical students so depending on the university that you go to you can check their website and they offer scholarships depending on your income um, depending on whether you're like a athlete and a few other conditions I'm trying to take my chase um, so there's a few a few conditions that will really allow you to qualify yourself to be applicable for a few scholarships and they can be like one to two thousand a year and that would really help you out as well but let's talk a little bit more about how much money you're spending a year you're not just uh, traveling okay. there is money for example especially if you get into med or whatever you have to buy like lab coats you have to buy different books uh, different things for uni they, they normally have a list uh, on the yeah, course yeah, um, yeah. when you check their website next to the entry requirements or something they will say this is how much money you might need on the first year the second year third year at the 
end of the day, it will add up and you will be a good amount of money. And last thing you're going to do, as I said, is uh, take your maintenance loan or ask your parents or someone for money. So, and, and you know, it's something that most people end up, they start their work life during uni, which is great. Like we said in the previous video, it's better if you get your, if you start your work life from like A level. So you have, you, you go into the work life at uni and you already know what you're doing. Do you get exactly. it? So you're not, you're not lost and you're like, where am I? What am I doing? It's again, building those good habits and, you know, being productive. I understand what Sarah was saying. Also, on top of that, universities offer grants so now this is the iffy bit not really iffy but something to really really know like so okay when applying to medicine there are many universities that you can apply to such as king's ucl i'm talking mm -hmm. about in london um queen mary depending on the university you go to you get access to different grants now imperial is known to give you a crazy bursary now you could probably guess before i put the number on the screen it's gonna be four thousand pound usual for the usual student it's roughly four thousand pound you that's can a lot for free right for free man mm. and that's crazy because you know maintenance loan goes up to seven thousand mm. so that means they're giving you and most people don't even take like you seven thousand yeah. maintenance yeah. loan you do know that people can choose how much mm. to take and so and this doesn't include into your maintenance loan yeah bear that in mind this mm -hmm. is separate yeah yeah yeah. yeah. so again you don't need crazy, to, yeah you don't need to pay this back this is like an income bracket from like sixteen thousand to fifty thousand or forty five thousand don't quote me exactly i will probably put that on the screen as well now this obviously affects people's choices because they know they have access to an extra four thousand pound per year and this is up to your fourth year from what i know from imperial students now now when you understand it's sixteen thousand so they're basically giving you nearly two years worth of your student fees do you understand so that can sort of like push you towards imperial but then it does so, mitigate out of the travel costs potentially like two to three thousand uh, over a couple of years actually four thousand to five thousand when you put in those four years so that's the reason why hopefully if i manage to make it to queen mary this video is recorded like august the first just in case you're a little bit confused i know where i'm going by the time this probably comes out inshallah, uh, inshallah. um and if god willing that i do get into queen mary it's in a cycling distance to me some of the placements hopefully will also be in a uh, cycling distance to me so it's really really important to factor that in because you do not want to be put in a predicament where you're running out of funds basically yeah 100 percent. so uh, again uh, sorry to you i was yeah, about fine, to interrupt you fine. but what i was going to say is that but this is it's one not of fine, the reasons it's not fine it's not fine <laughs> this is one of the reasons why you you choose uni in the first place um not necessarily because of the of the course uh because you can be choosing the same course in other unis yeah. but it's because of the grants that they give you and how the uni is how the social life how everything around the works how easy it is for you to access it do you understand mm. so you so that's very important when you're looking for uni choices do you understand I only deep so you just done this right now yeah okay. okay i was a little bit bored when you were speaking so that's fine, that's fine, so okay. Anyway, guys, so it's very important to make sure that you choose the right uni choices. Mm. Uh, another thing I wanted to say is that obviously there are other YouTubers you probably watch that you've met, met like uh, Anas and all of them, and they talk about how they earn lots of money on uni, and you can see the benefits. Like, you, you can see how f after like four or five years, mm. after they finish the degree, you can see the benefits there. Like, we haven't seen it yet because we're still young mm. and we just worked for A levels, but you will honestly see the benefits in your behavior, in the way you walk. Talk, uh, in the way you understand, the way you give advice to other people, the way you can manage your life way like much better. Do you get it? Because once you get a job, it's as if you have a timetable. Do you get it? Yeah. So you're not going to be. Uh, some sometimes your friends might be like, "Hey, let's go out," and you'll be like, "Bro, um, how about we do tonight evening or something?" Because I got work in the morning, and that's very important because you're learning how to manage your time, and managing time is something you will need until the end of your life it's something you will always need do you understand and again guys one thing from the islamic perspective is that if you do not keep yourself busy in towards good and halal stuff yeah. then shaitan's gonna keep you busy in the haram stuff especially at uni so guys just be just be a little bit careful so keep yourself busy bro you know fitness uh, obviously a little bit of socializing with the brotherhood and obviously job very important so you're mentally stable and you're financially stable because one more thing i want to say is that people when you're broke yeah, yeah. last thing you want is you didn't med or any degree doesn't matter apprenticeship yeah. or and you not having any money in your pocket that's you're already going through so much stress at the course and you're going to be going through extra stress simply because you don't have the funds do you understand yeah, yeah, yeah. and if you look at the people at uni people using the maintenance node and the chilling or whatever they're earning money mm -hmm. and they're buying good stuff you you also want to feel productive and yeah. you want to buy stuff like that and it just helps you and puts you ahead of the entire process do you understand okay, okay. less worries one of the last things that i want to ask you to is would you advise 
the accommodation usually where students end up having to go 10 to 15k in debt per year um, would you advise the accommodation one given to one advice given to a London student and one advice given to one who lives outside London who wants mm. to study in London would you advise him to commute what would you tell him to do okay this is what I'm gonna do um, yeah. first of all uh, because I've uh, some many of you guys probably know this but uh, I went to Cambridge Uni for a few days of shadowing a medicine student back in year 12 and I kind of understood how all of the payment and all of that goes because most of the people that go to Cambridge Uni they have to move out yeah. so if I'm gonna be giving an advance to a person that's going uh, let me hold it no, it's fine, it's fine. If, so, if I'm giving right hand, okay yeah, yeah. yeah so if I'm giving an advice to a person that's moving out of London then you have to 100% work because you need to. And it's going to be expensive, bro. The 10 to 15K is going to be, the accommodation is going to be crazy, bro. Um, or again, guys, there are many different accommodations you can take. You can take the cheap one, so you can take the expensive one, depending. Because uh, when I went, some of the rooms, they didn't have a, uh, they didn't have a toilet inside. So yeah, they didn't. So uh, even mad. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but but those are much cheaper, and okay. if you have your own like a uh, big bedroom with a with a toilet inside, it's much more expensive. Uh, yeah. And uh, at the end of the year, you're gonna see it's gonna be a huge amount, yeah, 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 no. so it's gonna add up. But so for those guys, I'd be like, be smart in the way you choose the room and the and which college you choose. Like for example, Cambridge, whatever they have different campuses, and some campuses are less expensive than others. Like, okay, yeah. So. Uh, this is from what I know, from what I've seen. So that's one thing. So be intelligent, be smart the way you choose the campuses. Yeah, yeah. That's the best advice I can really give because if you're going to be going outside of London, you're go you have to pay for accommodation. Okay, There's no okay, other okay, way. Okay. That's one. And so definitely you need a job as well. And if it's for a person that's living in London or like in the city where your uni yeah, is there, yeah. I think it's silly to get an accommodation. But you, some, would you say yeah. so? Some people say that they, um, they want to live that uni life. They don't want to uh, feel left out. What would you say about that? That's true, that's true. I know what you mean. But you see, I mean, you can still... You know how many clubs there are at uni? Like, there is... They have... I was surprised when I was checking some of the unis. They have every club. They have... No, no, no. <laughs> they, no. They, have, um, they have calisthenics club as well. You got, they got every club. You can find your own uni friends and you can stay with them. That is the uni life. You're chilling and everything. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's not... It's not necessarily you missing the uni life. You don't need to sleep in, a, in an accommodation. That's the way I see it. And financially speaking, it's not good. It's going to put you back a lot. Okay. Do you understand? Mm. This is the way I see it. Again, it's quite subjective, but it's smart when it comes to the money. That's what I would say. 100%. And we all know Money Man Torap. So may, may God bless him. Um, nonetheless, I think that's an informative video. I don't want to drag it out any longer. Yeah, yeah. Um, so guys, if you haven't liked the video already, Make sure you like the video. Yes, please like the video right now. Um, anyway, guys, please. Um, yeah, and get yourself a job because yeah, that's, yeah, the, yeah. that's the entire point of the video. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, guys, uh, hope you enjoyed. Let us know what you thought about in the comment section yeah, below. Yeah, yeah. Like, like we actually care. I'm joking, uh, I'm joking. We actually, okay. I actually do read it. I actually do read the comments. You, re you reply to all of the comments. Man. I try to, I try to. But anyway, guys, take care of yourself, yeah? Peace out.